Expressionism is a modernist movement, notably in painting, film, and literature, that originated and developed in Germany before and after the First World War. This artistic tendency can be considered as a form of resistance to bourgeois culture. The defining characteristic of this artistic tendency is the attempt of the artist to present the world solely from a subjective perspective, distorting it radically for emotional effect in order to evoke moods or ideas. In art history, the term expressionism refers to the work of Vasily Kandinsky, Paul Klee, and others associated with the Blauer Writer Group, which held exhibitions in Munich in 1911 and 1912. Heavily influenced by the Swiss critic Wilhelm Voringer's comments on abstraction, and rejecting both Impressionism and Naturalism, Expressionist painting uses distorted lines and perspective, and forms and bold colors to express raw emotion and spirituality. Although the Blauer Reiter group itself was short-lived, the Expressionist style became extremely popular after the First World War, and influenced the later Neue Sacklichkeit school, as well as the cynical portrayal of the Weimar Republic in Georg Gross's satirical drawings, the photo montage of John Hartfield, and the images of the modern city in the picture books of uncaptioned woodcuts produced by the Belgian Franz Masserelle. The systematic distortion and introspection characteristic of the style resulted in its being derided and banned as entata to Kunst, or degenerate art, by the Nazi regime. Expressionist cinema is characterized by stark black and white contrasts, highly theatrical sets, and screenplays that deal with the supernatural and the diabolic. The classic expressionist films are The Gollum and the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and the classic study is Lotto H. Eisner's The Haunted Screen. Expressionist cinema supplies the iconography for many later horror films, such as the original Frankenstein. Some of Brecht's plays, such as Bale and Drums in the Night, are sometimes described as expressionist, but the most significant literary manifestation of the tendency is Alfred Doblin's Bill in Alexander Platt's, which uses techniques pioneered by James Joyce and John Dos Passos to paint a kaleidoscopic picture of Berlin. The famous exchange between Ernst Bloch and George Lukacs took place in the pages of Das Wort, an expatriate literary journal published in Moscow between 1936 and 1939. Ostensibly about expressionism, it is in fact a very broad debate about the politics of the avant-garde. Responding to an article in which Lukács reiterates his reflection theory of realism, Bloch criticizes the Hungarian critic for having elaborated a doctrine of permanent neoclassicism that denies the very possibility of an avant-garde in capitalist society, and for dismissing any experimentation in the arts as being decadent, because it abandons the classic realism of Balzac. Bloch himself argues that avant-garde movements ranging from expressionism to surrealism can be anticipatory and can provide a vision of a more humane future. In his reply, Lukács insists that all modern literary schools produce only a frozen and superficial image of reality because the social alienation of modern writers means that they cannot discover the underlying truths about society. Expressionism is singled out for criticism on the grounds that it discourages revolutionary clarification. Its decadence is contrasted with the progressive realism of Thomas and Heinrich Mann and Maxim Gorky. In a coda to the debate, which was not published in his lifetime, Brecht, for his part, attacked Lukács' theory of its dogmatic formalism and its ahistorical reliance on a very limited range of novels. The original exchange between Bloch and Lukács, with Brecht's comments and later comments on the debate made by Adorno, is translated with explanatory material in Bloch, and others, Aesthetic and Politics.